In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a very popular SEO WordPress plugin called Yoast, WordPress SEO by Yoast, you can see it right here, and it's going to help you with your SEO. I'm going to show you how it looks with it and without it. I'm going to show you how to install it, and I'm going to show you the benefits of it. It's a very widely misunderstood plugin. People often tell me, oh, I've got SEO down, I've got Yoast. Yoast doesn't really affect your SEO. It just helps you with your keywords a little bit because you see what it does is it has these things like when you're creating your SEO title and meta description, it gives you a hint. And what I'll do is I'll actually deactivate it so you'll see the difference between them. And by the way, I have a slightly older version of WordPress just because I haven't updated. But so here I have this plugin right now. It's activated. That's the WordPress SEO Yoast plugin. I'm going to deactivate it. So I clicked on deactivate. It's not working now. It says plugin deactivated. If you are new to this plugin, all you have to do is you go plugins and add new. You're going to search for Yoast SEO. And this is the one that you get. They have other ones, but those other ones, you can obviously tell it's not exactly for most people. And you can also tell that the numbers of reviews are just so low, right? You get the one that's super popular, 25,000 downloads, five-star reviews. This is the one you get, no mistake. Now, I already have it installed. So for me, the only thing I have to do is activate, deactivate. Now that I've deactivated mine, I'm going to show you how my blog post is going to appear. You see, after the content, there is no more of that window for adding the title and, and meta description. So that's gone. So you see the difference? That's what that Yoast plugin added. So let's actually come back. Let's activate that plugin and let's play around with that plugin. So now I have activated the plugin again. So it's working. And now we've got this box, Yoast WordPress for SEO. First of all, what I want to show you is it gives you this focus keyword. The focus keyword, it's not something that actually appears anywhere. It's more like a barometer, like are we targeting that keyword? In my case, it's flyer marketing. So let's change that flyer marketing. And you'll see that it's thinking. And when it's done thinking, it's going to realize like, am I showing this anywhere? So for example, in the meta description, this is right here, we can actually change that really quickly. We also have this little helpful thing that says we have 156 characters, five characters are left. So let's change the meta description to have the focus keyword. So I put flyer marketing as the first term and right away you see boom, yes. And also now that meta tag is too long, I'll change the meta tag. So I'll take some time to change it, but I'll fast forward the video for when it's done. So I took out a few filler words that weren't really helpful and now it's within its limits here and I have this flyer marketing here and then I'm going to save the page update. So now the next thing is, let's see, article heading and in page title. So you can see that I changed SEO title and now it says flyer marketing and the page title, boom, now it says yes. So you see it's guiding me in optimizing all the keywords. Now it's too long. So I'm going to take out this and also flyers can be spelled in two different ways, flyer with an I and a flyer with a Y. I'm going to just keep both just for now. And you see, boom, now let's look at the article heading and let's see, why don't I have that keyword in the title? of the actual article. So the title of the actual article is the title that appears on the page as the page title. The SEO title, this is just a meta tag. It doesn't actually appear on the page. So let's look at the title. If I scroll all the way up. We're going to look at the title. Let's add flyer marketing ideas, tips and strategies. A little too long now, but okay, just for our example sake. And you see now it says article heading. Yes. The last thing it's pointing to is that the page URL does not contain this keyword, but you can change that too. Having keywords in the URL does help a little bit. So the way you do that is also very easy. I scroll all the way up and I'm not going to change my URL because the URL is already live, but if your URL is not live, see, it's so easy. The permalink, you can just edit it right here and add that keyword. You can say edit. I'm not going to edit it, but in your case, you can do that. And so, Right away, you can see that Yoast works as a guide. Now, does it actually help your SEO? Well, the keyword comes from you. The link building comes from you. All the other things come from you. So Yoast is just a guide. 
and there's another few features that, that Yoast helps you with. So a lot of these are not particularly necessary. The, the free version of Yoast really just helps with organizing and making sure that you are targeting and optimizing for your SEO main targeted keywords, not even your secondary keywords, because remember, you should target a few different kinds of keywords, like a main keyword and a few secondary keywords that are long tail. This just goes after your main keyword that you are targeting. So that's Yoast. That's how you install it, that's how you use it, and that's really the scope of how much it helps you. So I think most people overestimate how much it helps you. It does help a little bit for organization, but really a lot of the other things come from you, and Yoast is just a small part of the SEO process.